In this video, we'll discuss the differences between acute diseases and chronic diseases. Now, acute diseases are mostly short duration diseases. They last for a few days to, at the max, a few weeks. Whereas, chronic diseases are long duration diseases. These last for a few months to a few years, could even last the entire lifetime of a person. Let me show you a few examples of these two. So let's begin with, say, a fracture. This is a short duration disease. It takes a few weeks for the fracture to heal, maybe requires a cast or at the most a small surgery, and then the person is back to normal. Whereas if, let's say, someone has type 2 diabetes, that lasts for years together and maybe even the entire lifetime of that person. Great, I guess you're getting the gist. Let me move on to a few more differences between these two types of diseases. Acute diseases, they occur suddenly. For example, the fracture could have occurred suddenly due to an accident, right? On the other hand, chronic diseases, they progress gradually. Slowly over time, the disease increases and builds up. I'll give you a few examples in a moment and it'll be clearer. Before that, let me just give you one more point of difference. Acute diseases are usually treatable over a short duration, whereas chronic diseases require a long-term treatment plan and it takes years of treatment. And sometimes it's hard to treat and it even ends up being fatal. Let me give you an example of acute diseases. Malaria is an example of acute diseases. Malaria happens when an infected mosquito comes and bites a person and that happens suddenly. You contract the infection suddenly, right? And in a few weeks, just a short duration of treatment and you are fine, right? Similar with common cold. One day you're fine, some virus infects you suddenly and then in a day or two, you are back to normal, right? And something similar with typhoid as well. You eat something and suddenly you contract the infection, but then a short duration of treatment and you're back to normal, right? Now, with chronic diseases, the story is a little different. For example, if someone gets cancer, that actually progresses very gradually and slowly over months and sometimes even years. And then once it's detected, you have to do a very long-term treatment plan of removing these cancer cells, right? Similar with arthritis, the pain starts slowly, but as years progress, it gets worse, right? Similar with diabetes, like we discussed, uh, diabetes is also a chronic disease. It doesn't, uh, you know, occur suddenly overnight. It slowly progresses and the situation worsens. And at some point you have to maybe start taking medication or change your lifestyle, etc. Another example is tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is also a disease which requires a few months of regular treatment to ensure that the person has been cured fully. Great. Now let's get to a short story. Here we've got Akash and Ravi. Both of them are suffering from lower back pain. Now, both of them have the same symptom, but the causes are a little different. Akash got this lower back pain because of an accident. Whereas, Ravi got the lower back pain because of a disc disease. Akash took treatment for 10 days and then he recovered. Whereas, Ravi has been taking treatment for 5 plus years and he is still suffering. Well, it's very clear that Akash has an acute disease, whereas Ravi has a chronic disease. But now my question is, can an acute disease ever become a chronic disease? Well, it can. If Akash had left his acute issue untreated, it could turn into a chronic disease. Let me explain. If Akash, after his accident, did not receive the required treatment, don't you think his situation would have worsened over time, over months and years, and at some point, he may have ended up with some kind of chronic disease. So, if you have any acute diseases, don't delay, don't leave them untreated, because once things become chronic, then it's very hard to treat. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.